Hey YouTube, this is Josh with Josh Wright Piano TV. Tonight I'm going to be performing the Chopin Fourth Ballade for a dinner party, and then this weekend I'm going to be performing an all Chopin program in El Paso, Texas. And I wanted just to show you what I'm doing right before a performance, kind of some ways I've practiced right before a performance. And I did go over this uh, in the reset button video, the video called Reset Button. Um, I find for me the most therapeutic way to practice right before a concert is just a simple three-step method. Um, first of all, just neutralize everything with super forte practice uh, very slowly. And then the second way is to do it with lots of expression. And then the third way is to do it in tempo and see how it worked out. So I'm going to take, uh, for me, one of the harder passages in this fourth ballad, um, surprisingly, it's bar 58. A lot of people would think, oh, it must be the coda, but actually this part makes me just as nervous as the coda. Okay, and I I'm going to take a fairly big section for you. I, I would probably divide this in half, uh, so maybe like eight bars at a time, but I'm going to do about 16 bars worth, or however much this is, into bar uh, 72. something feels a little weird, I would just do that hands alone. It feels a little weird at the beginning. I felt a little bit weak, so I, I put a little artificial pause in there so that my hand deliberately started. It's a little method you can use. that I had a little hesitation for that D flat. And, and a lot of times you're gonna find new problems when you go slow. Like I don't have that problem when I go fast. That's why you wanna practice slow, hands alone to hands together. Um, today we're just doing hands together obviously, but uh, if I notice that again, I will deliberately kind of stop. <laughs> It appears that I was having issues going back into that, and you know what? Um, super slow with lots of expression, good voicing. Again, this is this is right before the performance. You're gonna need to do more work than this, you know, preparing uh, to get to this point. Um, but this is right before a performance, a very relaxing and effective way, for, at least for me, to practice. Let's try that again.
this I may not change that for tonight's concert just to be honest um, you know it's a little too close uh, I may change it for Saturday's performance for sure I'll change it for any future performances just making sure that a flat another thing you want to do is always write that in um, you know a lot of people like I've gone to lessons before and I've missed like one note in a 20 page piece and my teachers like have yelled at me before like how could you miss that it's like, oh brother, it's like one note out of a million. Um, so don't get down on yourself. If you, if you find a wrong note, just mark it and then just move on. Just do it. It's not a huge deal. It's a lot of people, if you're missing like 20 notes in one page of complex learning, that's an issue. But if you're missing like one or two or three, up to, you know, maybe even 10 for like a 20 page piece, um, you know, it's it's not good, especially if they're main notes, but if they're in this complex contrapuntal passage, don't get down on yourself, just fix it and move on. So I'm going to focus on that middle line. So. Okay. Now, let's try it. Let's just give it a try. We're trying to feel real inspired here and um, trying to make everything as beautiful as we can. tell you just 100% honestly I, I didn't sit and work on this you know to make this video to give you these false expectations um, I actually feel incrementally better uh, about this passage now than I did last night I performed it for my wife last night same piano same room everything um, but after just doing that much work because I haven't touched this yet today I've been working on the stuff beyond that in this piece and some other pieces it already feels better so again one time forte, everything. One time very slowly with lots of expression everywhere. And then finally try it in tempo. And then if you still have issues in tempo, I didn't really feel like I had too many issues in there. But if I did, I would sit and work those out in kind of a full tempo, right hand, left hand, hands together. I hope this has been helpful. If any of you have questions, my email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. A uh, couple of things, my Facebook page has been fixed, so you can click on that link below. Um, my new CD with, with my wife, we just released a meditation album. That's up for sale on my website. Um, it will be coming to iTunes, I think, within the next month. I'm not sure exactly how long they take. And then um, finally, if you would be interested in auditioning for Skype lessons, um, I'm accepting new students there as well. Thank you so much for your support of Josh Wright Piano TV. Good luck with practicing.